What's up guys and gals, this is Interface. Follow me on all these social media, like, share, and subscribe. What's up guys and gals, and in this video, I'm going to switch smaller blades for a bigger fan and bigger blades on a smaller fan. Now I have uh, these two fans that you see for you, and I'm going to go ahead and get this high velocity aluminum fan blades and put them on regular house fan. And here I'm just testing the airflow to see what it feels like. It's hard to actually test without some sort of device, but seeing and putting my hand in front of it and seeing how much airflow is coming out. So the smaller fan uh, spins much faster, um, but of course the blades are smaller. Um, and the bigger fans spins much slower, but the blades are bigger. But uh, of course the smaller fan, since it spins much faster, and the blades are smaller, it's a more centralized airflow and the bigger blades, you have to be really close up to it, but it hits your whole entire body. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch the uh, aluminum smaller fan blades with the plastic bigger fan and see what happens. Suns up high, feel the heat, streets sizzle under my feet. Ice cream truck, play that beat. Summer's here, can't beat, beat. So here I am switching the smaller aluminum blades with the bigger fan blades that were previously plastic and testing it out. I'm holding it on with zip ties and, and then later on I just forget about the zip ties and use a little bit of ingenuity with um, a washer and a uh, tightening up the screws in the back. But um, here it is and we're about to see the airflow in a minute. up the night dance till dawn feels so right heat's on can't lose the fight summer heat pure delight breezy as evening flare laughs and cheers love everywhere on the stars no need to care heat waves melt our despair So the results are, it feels like the smaller blade is blowing way more air and going about the same exact speed because the blades actually weigh nearly the same. Since one is actually made out of plastic, the plastic's actually lighter than the aluminum, but the aluminum is smaller than the uh, plastic blades. But what I'm noticing is, yeah, you're getting way more airflow in terms of a centralized airflow, more like a blower than a regular house fan. So the reason for that, I believe, is obviously the, the speed is the same, but I believe it is the shape of the blades. Um, they seem to go further because of the shape of the aluminum blades are actually way more to the side. If I, if from the, uh, if you look at it from the side angle, the blades are tilted to the way to the left and the blades on the plastic uh, fan blades are just straight up almost like a ceiling fan where it's just a slight tilt and it's not as much as the other blade you can see the curve right there on the plastic blades but the aluminum blades just 
are way stronger because they're bent way more. Um, and uh, the middle of the plastic is taking out a lot of the um, the space that the air needs to flow through. And the aluminum blades, there's a really small middle. So you can see it taking up right there. And it seems to uh, be correct that it's the shape of the blades. So just having these three blades going at the same speed versus the five blades that um, were on the plastic uh, fan. Uh, these have more airflow between them. It, it's, it, it's like if you installed a pretty much a plate with no holes in the, in the middle, you're not going to get any airflow because there's no space between each fan blade. So if you just, if one fan blade is just there without any holes in them, like instead of three, it's just one giant, like basically a plate, aluminum plate. There's no airflow because there's no space in between to, to let the air flow through towards you. So I think it's um, the amount of blades is, if you decrease the amount of blades and curve them, you actually get more airflow at the same speed than having five blades. But the, another main thing too is the curve of the blade seem to matter a lot. If it's just straight, like a house fan, a ceiling fan, it it really does hamper the airflow that blows towards you. So I'm noticing the, the curve on these uh, aluminum blades are way more. And here I am putting it right back. Now in the last test, I'm using the same exact fan, but now I'm going to actually use really, really big uh, fan blades that are made out of aluminum, made out of aluminum. And this is like oversized fan blades and there's only two of them. So there's a lot of airflow between them. The problem with this is this aluminum is way more heavy than the previous two plastic and aluminum blades. So that's the problem with this. And of course, the way I'm putting it on, it's not even. So it actually shakes a little bit. But even then, I can tell that the uh, airflow from this last blade I'm testing is not a lot at all. I barely feel any airflow. And that's because the fan blades aren't spinning as fast. It's just too heavy. So the motor itself cannot keep up. If the motor was stronger at the same exact speed, um, then it will allow a lot, much, a lot more airflow and prove my theory. And you can see with these blades are way, way more curved than both the plastic and the aluminum blades. So they're designed for extreme airflow. Problem being, again, is that the motor in that fan, in this fan that you're seeing right here, um, is not strong enough to bring up the blades up to the same speed as the previously two uh, aluminum and plastic blades. Workshop, punk rock part. In conclusion, I think if you can find a motor that can handle the uh, aluminum blades, always pick aluminum because they're usually easier to bin. But the uh, aluminum blades seem to work out the best. Um, and if you have a motor that's strong enough to bring up the uh, blades that you're using to a speed to where it matches the motor itself, then that is your option. So. If you want a faster blade or faster uh, airflow or a lot more airflow, um, you're going to want really curved blades for the summer. This works for, you know, things like outdoor and indoor during the summertime. If you're really hot and want a good fan. So when in doubt, always go aluminum. 
Um, that's why usually all these high power fans are aluminum and the, the blades are aluminum so they're way less likely to break. Thanks for watching. And of course at the end of the video uh, you have a cat flying from nowhere and almost get hit by the blade. So I have to stop the fan and put it down. This is Interface. Follow me on all these social media and if you like my videos, like, share and subscribe. Fire on,